How Young is Too Young, Friendsgiving, and Fuck Weddings. All this and more on today's Brilliant Observations. Do, 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 do. I feel like we have the same like running nose that we're going to have for the next two months. Over <laughs> it. I am over it. Guess how much over it I am. All the so, way fucking over. So over it. I feel like, like I'm losing over. brain through my nose at this point. Like what Oy. is left coming out my face? It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. How are super, you today, Amy? How are you? I, I tell you what. I tell you what. I'm not sure if I am a loving mother. Or? Or if I'll be I am judge. a super fucking sucker. Right? We and use that the, the same enabler. goddamn thing. We use the, the word fuck? enabler. That's, That's word. worse. I don't want to enable, except enable enable you to like pack your shit and get the fuck out. <laughs> that is shit. not what we enable, no. though. No. no. Quite the no. opposite. What happened? I want everybody to come here and live here and never leave here. Even the ones who have left, I want them to come and live here. I, I, you know, I think. I don't know. That's you know, though, right? Tell me. That we do holidays Everybody comes in from everywhere, all go to Delaware, all together, 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 all together now. Right. And back to back. You'll be there for Thanksgiving, come back, and then. And we were just there because there was big, not literally. Family wedding. We were, it was family wedding at my sister's. So we were be literally back at the same place because they had it at the, at the place. Right. So, all right. Come to find out one of my pretend adult teens, Right. Who works a job. Is he a teen? Yeah. Who works a job. I never know how old they are. And I always yeah. introduce them as the wrong age. And they get so mad. I'm, There's I three guess. of you. How am I supposed to remember who's a what's a? I, here's the thing. I don't know how old I am. So can we not be so sensitive? That's it's true. not a statement of love about you. It's a statement about I don't care. I mean, I'm. <laughs> that is not you. what the statement is. The statement is I have. I don't care about the age of anyone. How old are you? I don't know. I don't How really old's know. my mom? I don't know. How old's my my husband? I don't know. How old am I? I don't know. How old is my dog? I super don't know. And they ask me on forms and I lie. Everybody asks me how old my dogs are. How old know. are they now? And I, I mean, I blame the fact that they're enough. all rescues and I wasn't how there at their they're birth. old enough. Old yeah, I don't fucking know. When they ask my kids, my answer is old enough to know better. So, See? But, okay. they, but they're not. Right. All right. So you don't right. know their ages. So whatever. So one of them has to work. Friday after Thanksgiving. That happens when you just no start a job. It. You're the first youngest person there. You pay your Last dues. Last in the door, first out the hole, whatever the, <laughs> maybe, I don't feel like, I don't feel like that's a job I want. But anyway. I don't know. So you know how it is. You <laughs> know how it is. And so then the gnashing of teeth and the rending of garments begins. Oh my God, we only saw him in October for this wedding and we'll see him again in December, but we're not going to see him in November and I think I might die. So I called my sister to tell her. They ripped their clothes. She, she you yeah. know, <laughs> and I called my mom and she, <laughs> you know, everybody's in my son's like, I got out of thanks. He's sad. He doesn't want to miss it. It's not about that, but Let's you know, it is, it, is, it is kind of a, kind of a haul. You got to fight the traffic going up you gotta fight the traffic going back and we make the visit for thanksgiving shorter and shorter every year because everybody has so many commitments all around loaded at this one's got you know a game the next day and we got to do this thing and we can't leave because this one's got a test before we start and it, it's just it really is it's kind of tricky so i understand it i accept it i'm starting to feel a little sad for him right because i'm going i'm not staying the fuck home i'm gonna go see you later you can stay here. And he says, well, I we're there's a couple of other people and they we're doing a Friendsgiving. Like, oh, Perfect. that's lovely. That's, that's nice. Lovely. Yeah, I like that. So I'm starting to think, what are we going to do and how is he going to make this happen? Taylor volunteers her place because nobody's got a place big enough to do this. Taylor is one of the people that he works with. Right. OK. So, and they're talking it through. And I don't understand Friendsgiving. I thought it was Thanksgiving with friends. So I didn't really think through the logistics Everybody like a has to luck or uh, everybody has to bring something. Yeah. So I'm thinking, okay, I well, get it. Well, who's doing the turkey? You know, does it the person who hosts it brings the turkey? 
And he's like, well, Probably. I don't know. We didn't we didn't think about that part. And who's doing Cause the we're kids? Who's doing <laughs> the who's doing the mashed potatoes? No, I don't know. We didn't. There's no like set thing. People are just going to do a Friendsgiving. Really? Son, what are you doing really? for this? <laughs> I, I've been to those potlucks before. It's one cup of chili for 60 people and 9,000 cornbreads. Like you can't do it this way. You have to fucking have a list of who's you doing You could go what. one of two ways. You could decide now, I am not going to be home. This is not my problem. Or you could completely take control. Dear listener, if you had to guess what Amy chose. Hmm. Okay, here's what I said. I said call call Flemings, right, which is like Ruth's Chris. We know Flemings. Book a table and fucking go. And that's when I was told, no, no, it's about people bringing stuff. It's like a stone soup thing. Everybody brings a thing. And that's when I sort of learned, okay, well, what are you bringing? I don't know. And oh what's boy. the other person bringing? And where are you having it? Well, I think we're just going to do it at Taylor's because, you know, she's got a townhouse. And I'm like, okay, does she have, is it big enough for everybody? And they're like, not, not really. But I'm like, so you're going to do it at a place that's too small with a very poorly planned menu. <laughs> it's okay. That sounds right. <sighs> they're making to. memories, Amy. Yeah, they're having it here. They're Fuck making that. memories. I can't handle it. No. I said, look, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not. I'm not even a part of it. And the way that I'm going to stay not a part of it. Dear listener, which ones of you had take control of the whole thing? Dear I listener, don't want to. On that? I'm Go gone. I'm gone. I'm <laughs> in another state. I'm a guest at another house. I'm not going to be here. So I also won't see people like vaping in my house or, you know, I don't know, you know, drinking alcohol. All the things that I don't want to know. Like Perfect. whatever. And they're older. Like he is he is absolutely the youngest among us. So it's, you know, I, I'm pretty confident that people are going to live their lives at their holiday meal. But then again, if you got nowhere to go for Thanksgiving and you're, this is your Thanksgiving, I, may, I wonder. I haven't given this a lot of thought. In any event, I said, you can have it here. I don't want to steal Taylor's thunder, right, if she's really excited to host it. And he's like, no, I think we're just excited to sit down and have a table and a seat with the fork and a glass of something. I'm like, okay, okay our can- house it is. You can have it here. I will leave. And then uh, I thought, okay, you know what? So I learned about this on Friday, Saturday, no problem, which was yesterday, right? In the morning, I'm thinking, all right, so we got a couple of weekends to prepare. His room is gross. He keeps his room so gross. The bathroom, like there's just cleaning shit that needs to be done. And I'm not fucking doing it. So I said, you know what? And I'm certainly not going to say, it's a do it the day before when I'm not here. And that's code for it won't get done. So I'm like, let's let's today's the day we're going to tackle a project. Yay! You know, all those clothes that don't fit you that are currently sitting on a pile in your room. Why don't we put those in a bag and throw them away? Why don't we put those stuff them in the closet where no one's going to see them? Like, I don't care how we solve this problem as long as the problem is solved. Let's start some cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. Right. And in the process of talking through how his Saturday is going to become my project worker day. Right. He, he looks at me and he says, well, you know, it's tomorrow. Ah. It's not Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is tomorrow? It's tomorrow is Friendsgiving. So you, A, you will be here. <laughs> you will be here and you just volunteered your home. What do you mean That's it's not tomorrow? Clean. We're I having mean, it because tomorrow. every... It's tomorrow at five. <laughs> it's tomorrow at five. All these people are coming over tomorrow at five. And what are they bringing? I don't know. And what time are, uh, who, oh is God. the turkey going to arrive fully cooked? I, I don't think so. And who's doing the turkey? Uh, ta- Taylor will do the turkey. Taylor will do the turkey. Oh, my okay, God. Okay, how's she going to do it? She's going to get her mom to do it. Cut to, her mom's got COVID. She ain't doing a fucking turkey. So now it's 4 o'clock on a Saturday, and we have no COVID turkey. COVID turkeys are delicious. <sighs> I have since learned that you can cook a turkey from frozen because I bought one last night, made two pies, all the stuffing, and I'm currently in the process of partially thawing this fucking bird. The good news is there's not as many people coming as I'm used to feeding, so it's kind of not a big deal, but I'm not going to let him know that. And so the bird will thaw faster. You don't, you're supposed to thaw a bird in the refrigerator for two days? It's some astronomically high number of hours in the refrigerator per pound. It's so stupid. Birds are fucking stupid. 
there's tired now, of them. There's now math in birding. I, I, okay, sure. You don't just show up and it's ready. I make well, the I kugel. You, I That's all I the do. Pies. Well, I was making the pies last night, and I sort of was trying to time things out, and when do I have to put the bird in the oven, and how long do I have to thaw it so I don't kill anyone, and all those fucking things, right? Because um, you can kill somebody, but I mean, that's not my plan. And it occurs to me that the reason I don't bake is because baking is all math. And if you take the math out, I would be an excellent baker. But the math part, the math part is what sucks. Because I can't, I can't, I won't. I, I can't, I won't do it, Rocky, I won't! Here's what's concerning me. My hair, me too. You just cooked an entire Thanksgiving for which you have no participation. It's kind of like I'm making your Chef Amy and you are making a whole meal. And then would you oh, at least I come out asked, at the end of the meal so no, they can I was applaud asked, you? No, I was asked. You, you're at, at, you know, at five o'clock. Actually, now it's four o'clock. I guess I'm going to learn in 10 minutes. They're here now. Right. It keeps changing. <laughs> uh, can you go like hang oh out with God. your friends? Yeah. So can you do this and then get the fuck out? But in truth, nobody asked me to do this. It, and nobody even asked me for the house. I volunteered the house because it would be nicer and I would not be home. And I would not be a part of it. And that we got that of, last New Year's. Well, and I kept making trade offs, right? I kept making trade offs. I said, I'll buy this. Give me a list and I'll go. They would say, give me a list. I'll go buy it and then I'll bring it to your house. And so so that we can like do it or whatever. And I'm like, do you know what? The prospect here, of you buying a frozen turkey and showing up with it rock hard at Two o'clock tomorrow and expecting it to be cooked. I was just like, yeah, Why but don't you I just also do it and you made pay me the back. pies. You also made the pies. You, I made the pies in exchange for clean toilets. I said, look, I can I can go out and buy you. you he's bringing dessert. I can go buy you desserts. Right. Or I can make you a homemade apple pie in exchange for three toilets being cleaned. And I can make you a homemade pumpkin pie for vacuum and mop the first floor. And he picked homemade. So I got my house clean. And that's fucking, I won. Pies are easy. My it's kids just, would I, not make that same choice. Then, well, they probably have sense. And they probably wouldn't plan a whole party. Say it again. They probably wouldn't, um, I don't even know what the word is, arrive <laughs> at a gathering. At There's your, no planning involved. At like, your own home. Word, what's <laughs> the word for a spontaneous, you know, it, it, it absolutely just <laughs> out of nowhere. Pop up Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh Jesus fuck. And yet and it's not. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Say it say it again. It's fine. It's fine. Me, well, I think you need to believe it. So you have to keep saying it. It's going to be okay. Everything's fine. I think it's everybody is going to be I don't know any of these people. I only know two of these people. So, so wait, I don't know come, any of these people. Come Thanksgiving, well you won't be there anyway. Come Thanksgiving in another week and a half, two week whatever. Mm -hmm. You still have all of gone. these people who have nothing to do. So this They'll is be kind at of work. stupid. But, well, I don't know what they're I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. Okay. But neither do they. So I, I think I think probably what happened is my son was invited to Friendsgiving and didn't listen to any of the details. That's it. And because right his Thanksgiving is fucked, he probably thought everyone's Thanksgiving is fucked, not realizing that no one's Thanksgiving is fucked. So Friendsgiving is an extra for them, and it's the only for him, I think. I think. Here's what I hear. Your dog gets to stay home and not go to camp because you have That's a... 100% why we do this. You have a kid home who's going to... Like canine care. We had a sick dog when I my husband was taking me away for the weekend, and sick dog, uh-oh, what do we do? I have a kid who's an hour from me and she said don't put her in a kennel I'm coming home I want to watch them uh okay you just saved me cash and I gave her cash when I've did she decide she wants to watch the dogs I vividly remember same said child who would say fuck that noise I'm not watching the dogs get your own yeah, it happened when one of the dogs going into the kennel threw up in the morning and wasn't feeling well. And she has this theory that these dogs are going to die when she's not there. Chris, she's going through a life change right now. So she's okay. she came home and finished all of her law school applications, got stuff done, watched a sick dog, and everything's fine. Everything's fine. How old is she, Mom? I, I don't know, honey. I don't know. Cut her open. Count the rings. I don't know. They're all rescues. There are better ways. Amy doesn't We're know how old she is. It. I don't need oh, to know how teeth? old I am. Oh, what's the fucking problem? I mean, somebody has that information. I don't need it. 
I'm a year so. older than I was last year, and that's what counts. The doctor has the information. They know how old my dogs are, too. We're fine. We're fine. Maybe. How old is too old is my question for you. Or how old is old enough? Or how young is too young? There's a These woman. These are all different questions. Who got arrested. <laughs> There's a woman who got arrested because her son was found walking half a mile to the store while she was with her other child going to a doctor's appointment. Amy, how old is too young? How young is too young for that child to be walking to the store half a mile up the road on his own? In America? In America. In a a city? In a suburb? There's so many factors here. And see also... Why don't you fucking mind your wax and stay the fuck out? Because yes, yes. it is so unique to each child in each scenario. And in Japan, yes, they put three-year-olds on a fucking bus. So, right? And let them wander down the damn street so they can learn how to fucking do it. You saw I don't it. like any of that information. Yeah, I don't like you any of that. It. So the two questions I brought to you today are, one, this mother who took a kid to a doctor while his brother walked to the store, probably to get a sandwich and come back. Because on his way back, somebody noticed this youngin walking and reported it, and the police came. And she was arrested for, Jesus. what, child endangerment, I'm guessing? Come on, fuck off. Guess his age. Uh, if she was arrested, I'm going to go with, like, seven, first grade. He was 10. <sighs> right pause exhale it depends to your point completely no on the that's child, not their no maturity, it their... doesn't depend on the child it depends on the distance to the store and the busyness of the street these are the factors that are far more important than the child's age if this is a kid walking to the corner store if this is a if this is a kid in an urban environment going five blocks away if this is do you know what i mean it, it, it has they to do said with half is this a, a child walking on i-95 right <laughs> he wasn't playing like, what are we talking about <laughs> he wasn't right playing frogger like if this is a child in clear phys- you know clear physical danger not from other uh, humans just from the circumstances right like let's is he walking through a minefield he was he not actively being shot at with bullets like i think what are it we? was in massachusetts it, it wasn't it wasn't a dangerous highway who the fuck in massachusetts is got nothing better to do than to look around and see what you're fucking doing with your kid. Five oh okay? five oh, you gotta come. Is this, this a, kid's walking is this with a, a black hobie. kid? Is this a black kid? No, they, it's a white family. I only saw the mother, but I'm assuming, like an asshole, that her kid's also white. <laughs> I don't is know. Is this a kid who like picks up rocks and throws them while he's walking? Why, who gives a fuck? What the? I don't understand anything part about this story. And frankly, if the police have got nothing better to do, why don't you go out and pick up those kids throwing rocks and shooting bullets at other kids walking down the I ninety five? You gotta pick up the victim. I saw a plane was shot the other day sitting on a tarmac. A, pl- a plane got shot. I was like, what are you talking about? Okay, it's so, so that's- curious to me. No, it's, oh, I'm going to I'm going to stay on topic. This is that's on topic. Me. I'm talking to myself. That was oh, me okay. talking to myself. Oh, were you, were you boob legging? Okay, sorry. All right. I was so getting ready to go old. somewhere else, but I won't do it. Ten years old. You think it's fine to do that walk. I absolutely. That's a fifth grader. I absolutely think it's fine if he's making cereal and there's no milk and he yells, fuck, my mom's not even here. Grabs a fiver from the counter and walks to the store, gets milk and comes back and has it. I think that's if he's savvy enough to say, I got this, then I trust that kid. If the kid's that, like, if, mommy, if do kid, I need to? Uh, Ten s- sounds like a young age. But when you say fifth grade, if you can't hustle your ass to the store, I mean, you were down there. Buying candy bars and firecrackers 10 minutes ago when you were supposed to be in your room and lied about it. So for magically, all of a sudden, butter is a bridge too far. I don't think so. Fuck you. Okay, so following that theory, I know a physician who had someone I know a place. I know a place. Had somebody, a kid come in with second degree burns because this child made soup in the microwave by himself. Mm. And he was three. Oh, baby. Is that negligence? Is that no, neglect? No, I think that's I think that's called well, it depends. I think it's an accident. This is where what you're doing right now is what some members of the air quotes governing party are 
interested in doing, which is finding a universal standard for things that are in no way universal. There is no universal standard for a child using a microwave as neglect or as independence or as, you know, proof of parenting or lack of parenting. The, the parent could have been standing next to the three-year-old and the three-year-old wanted to remove it from the microwave and, and tried and it spilled. I mean, it, it could have been the parent was completely, literally in a heroin overdose in the attic <laughs> and the child said, I'm making my fucking soup. Like, we don't know and the second situation. second-degree burns are the least of your problems in that family. There could family. have been a marauder. <laughs> and the child was savvy enough to say, I will concoct this bomb soup and throw it. But at unfortunately, three. Had, didn't have the upper body strength to hurl it at the attacker and instead defaced and maimed himself. Like, there's all these different, you cannot case by universalize case. this. You're saying you cannot case universalize by case. this. And Montessori... Half the shit All that was yourself. a benchmark of how to get from from this classroom to the coveted next up classroom was all stuff that people would be clutching their pearls and passing the fuck out. You gave that child a knife? Yeah. Can't your kid use a fucking knife? What's he using? A pencil? I mean, at a certain <laughs> point. <laughs> to cut Play-Doh? Knives are part of it. Knives are part of it. I don't want to extrapolate too much from this. And yet I will. So, oh boy, <laughs> it has to do well weapon weapons training and and you know small equipment, large equipment training, driving vehicles, like parts of parts of your environment that are a life skill passed down generationally in your family. Farming, yeah, yeah. I I mean in the Farming, same way hunting. that I wouldn't expect I wouldn't expect someone who grew up just call it a farm, someone who grew up way out in the country, I wouldn't expect them to understand how to navigate the subway on their own in the afternoon, you know, to get from point A to point B. I would, however, expect them to know how and why to open and close and lock a fence when you don't have the tools to do it or, or to even irrigate. I'm sorry, even to irrigate, irrigate to I want to irrigate them back, back home. That's it. Irrigate the lower third and then <laughs> make sure these are fallow and make sure. Yeah. There is a skill set that comes right. with each individual due to location. My question was by age and to your point, it, it varies. So do you report those parents for letting a three-year-old cook and carry hot soup and, and burn his body like that? Who's doing the reporting? Are we talking about medical professionals yes. who see who see the issue yes. and see the parents and make a judgment? Or are we talking about a neighbor who is making it his or her entire Karen. life's purpose? No, not to that. To fuck around, hoping to never find out. This comes back to, I see the leopards ate your face. Surprise! I fucking I mean, love that so much. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the name of it is <laughs> Leopards Eat Your Face. So right. when you go right. ahead and engage I with this. I can't believe the leopards <laughs> ate my face. You know, cried the woman who voted for Leopards Eat Face Party. Yeah, like, I, it's like, woman, the f <laughs> woman, sit down. Just sit the fuck down. Okay, I know I'm bringing to you like Harpo marks over here on weddings Harpo. and how much I hate them, but I did work this week for my girlfriend in her salon, and there was a bride to be who sent out her save the date nine months in advance and said six months in advance she's sending out her invitations. And I said, oh no, honey, it's six weeks. You sent it out six weeks in advance, six months maybe for the save the date, but six. Oh no, that's not enough time. I'm like, you just told me whatever. I'm not arguing with clients of my girlfriend who has a salon. Ooh. I just nod and think you're so dumb. That's fine. So <laughs> lovely, but you don't know what you're talking about. I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to judge you <laughs> right now. You say that like it's a joke, and then you cackled afterwards. But yes, that is 100%. I find you charming. I find you a delight. So I do. The latest wedding fiasco that makes me crazy and that I cannot get away from, by the way, I was told that the hate rage gives me dopamine, which I don't get from exercise or anything else because I have ADHD, and this is how I get it. Leave me alone. Who told you this? Your gynecologist? Talk. What's wrong? With oh, you? oh, sorry. <laughs> What's wrong I with you? you. I, I don't talk you. to anyone but you once a week. So, <laughs> Melissa, you no. Nah. I gosh, your gosh, your uh, your urethra is so spongy. You yeah. are you doing hate rage again? Good for hate you. Rage. Keep it and up. Kegels, Kegels, and hate rage. 
So the new TikTok or the new trend on this whole wedding thing was you charge people to come to your wedding. Not the <laughs> gift. Not the gift. You charge them. So when they RSVP, it's $87 in addition to whatever gift you're giving them. Uh, as an RSVP. Yes, the chicken I, I, dish. Who, and here's my Venmo money. Where? Where? This is just. This is just. <laughs> all right. Where to begin is really the question for all and, of us. And all the uh, and some of the people were like, I- I'm not paying to come to your wedding. I'm, I'm, pa- I'm giving never you a happened. gift. To that that's cover- never happened in the history of the world. This is a put up job invented by Hollywood to give someone content for clicks. It's a, this, this, this is a happen. wedding planner who has nope. seen, I'm going to guess, everything and has no. been putting these scenarios online, online, on TikTok. And I'm horrified by no. more fucking crazy people doing that uh, this is akin to going to gallbladder surgery <laughs> and <laughs> arriving with your own tools okay we're gonna use my scalpel today because it has a pearlized handle oh my God. and p.s i've brought my documentation nurse who is going to be videoing the thing so we can live stream it like the, this is not the point of the surgery or inviting someone what are you missing Cause this ain't it. It's a no. That's a relationship ender. That's but a. It did. A, it did actually. That's two a, people. That's a call. That's a physical fucking call to a a biological family member and a relationship ender. We're not doing this. You should not do this. I'm telling you to stop doing this. You are embarrassing all of us yes, by doing this. Yes. And the answer is no. Not only will we not participate, you will now rescind and refuse. Right. Rescind this request and refuse all payment. Stop it. Her back answer was backtrack. Her answer was, do you know what kind of debt we're going into throwing this wedding? You don't understand how expensive weddings are. We need to do this to recoup some of what we have I already. I absolutely can uh, completely empathize and understand what you're telling me. And the answer is, don't. sorry, you don't get a wedding. Or if you would you like can to do be weddings married, cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> you don't yeah. have to yeah. have all those flowers yeah. and, and favors. And yeah, we use the word wedding to say reception. You don't get True. to have one. I, you don't get to say, God, it really, really sucks that I'm getting ready to have this baby. And I need you to pay for my arrival home birth party for the first for the first day at home. Guess what? Having the child is, is the your point. Gift, right. That's right. it. Right. It's nobody. Nobody needs to. You don't need to. You're not guaranteed anything else. Healthy baby is what we're going for. Marital union is what we're going for. People there. Sorry. uh, Is there is there a requirement on TikTok? Is there an Instagram like I don't know. Grading. I mean, I'm sure there's a grading system. I'm trying to think of like it, what what's a mandatory, right? Who decides that their wedding mandatories? The state doesn't say we won't issue this license unless you serve. Yeah. Mignon. What's your minimum of money spent? Yeah. Right. <laughs> minimum not, of money spent. Not then it's part, not a wedding. That's not part of it, right? Nobody's dictating the colors, the length of time, where or if you go on a honeymoon. That's not. That ain't it, gal. It's just not. They're all her choices. Right. She made all of these choices. She has to pay for them. But can you believe that there are people that think this way? One person went to this wedding but had to leave before the reception because her husband got sick. She left a gift in the box, the whole nine. She already paid, right? Oh, I'm sorry. She left and then got a Venmo request for her $87 a person from the bride and she waited two weeks. The bride cashed her check from the box, and then she called her after the check was cashed to say, you know, what a beautiful ceremony. And she said, I can't believe you're calling me. I'm not interested in talking to you till you do the Venmo request. And she said, well, we left, first do of all. Do you understand what a guest is? Do you understand what a guest is? First of all, do you even, I mean, unless there was some tacit agreement that if you attend, there is a fee. And someone said yes and attended and then refused the fee. That's different. That's called because a if concert you, or a play. If, if, or if, a you, <laughs> if you decided to buy a ticket to wedding, right, then then, yeah, you're going to pay for a ticket to wedding, whether you go to wedding or not. Right. The, the issue here is who not. sends a fucking it's no tickets to wedding? Do you understand the difference between guest? Right. Guest and attendee. 
Oh, like, yeah, is that, not is, a, that is, is not the a, perfect way to phrase it. You are a guest. It's not a, a ticketed guest. event, right. Yeah. That phrase, be my guest, immediately any gift you're giving is your generosity, oh, not required fee. I, so that made me crazy. crazy. And another thing that made me crazy, um, I promise I won't talk about weddings on everyone, but I just fucking hate them. Um, and le- I mean, they're beautiful and they're wonderful, but the whole planning, it's a marriage, friends. Um, there's... A whole thing now about gifts for kids for holidays, right? The holidays are coming and all these gifts are So I'm up. told. <laughs> and and I know you and I have kids that are of an age where it's either cash or you're lucky I still pay your bills or whatever it is. It's we're not gifting like the crazy people we used to be. But I saw that there is a three D printer for kids where they can print their own fucking toys kind of sounds fucking crazy fun is it too difficult though is it the kind of thing where you really it's like baby phd this is fun for two children and everyone else is like what the fuck is this well my child one year i think it was we've been doing this long enough that i even talked about it he wanted a plasma device he wanted a thing where you could do like a plasma laser and all this like a spot welding like there was all these all this wow fucking, yeah okay. and it went like to make a tesla coil and all this crazy like burn the house down shit and i was like this is such a bad idea okay so i got it all a very detailed crazy specifications you know had to order it for some ridiculous science thing that has like no website interface and only sells three of them ever like it was just so dumb and I went through all the hoops and did it and unwrapped it. And it was played with for like 14 seconds when he realized, I don't actually know what I'm doing. I think I am going to burn the house down. And this looked really cool online when I watched that video at 3 o'clock in the morning and said, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to make a laser that shoots fire out of its eyeballs and dragon, dragon, wee. No, no. <laughs> dragon, dragon, wee. No, I got so much <laughs> copper wire up in this bitch that's never going to see the light of day. How am I remotes? Su- how am I yeah. supposed to repurpose yellow cake uranium? What is going oh, on here? It's just so bad. Well, and then I time was we bought that window in your house sized double pane window in your house sized magnifying glass so they could fry an egg outside. Do you remember that fucking thing? That's still sitting. It was used once. Cooked the egg. Took longer than you thought. Nobody wants to eat the egg. Yes, outside, sun is hot. And now, $350 later, I got a giant piece of glass that I don't want and can't do anything with. So stupid. I'm tired of being that mom. I'm tired of being that mom. I'm tired of being that mom. Go to the guy that didn't want the trampoline and see if he wants your magnifying (sighs) glass. I've been to parties with him since, and he's actually a lovely person. I was so angry that he was whipped, but his wife does scare me, though, in truth. She is a very frightening person. She is, uh, oh, my God. She's just so, um, like, CrossFit meets Michael's uh, gift store, right? So she could craft She's you. militantly crafty. <laughs> she, she is like, she is, she is like somewhere, it's a hybrid between, Martha Stewart is not in that bag, right? Because if Martha Stewart liked CrossFit, that's what we're dealing with. Someone who is like, I'm going to craft this into a little shiv and then stab you repeatedly until and unless you put the reindeer where I say. Like, that's how it is. And uh, I'm sure she's lovely, but she's very intense. I admire that relationship. (laughs) Well, you know these women, right? (laughs) Where I don't know if they pick this look or if God decided it matches their heart when they come out and their hair is so jet-ass black and straight like it's been scared to do anything else and their eyes are just super dark and they look at you and they're lean but on top of their lean they've got like that hate muscle that was put there by you know brimstone itself and it sort of clings to the bones like i'm holding on i'm holding on everything is very taut and sinewy and at the same time they smile at you and they look at you almost like am i gonna fuck you right now And I don't even know which way I mean. Like, they're just, they have that kind of, uh, it's a frightening vibe. And most of them live in the Northeast. So when you see one down here, it's like when you see a Southern Belle up by you, you, something's wrong. And you start to think, you start to think, uh, uh, what happened? How'd she get up here? What's she going to do? What's in her bag? How'd she get up here? (laughs) 
you know, <laughs> watch your hands. Your bag? <laughs> watch your hands. Like you just, you never fucking know. So when you get one of these real stern looking, li- looking ladies down here, right, wearing the Lululemon leggings and put a tutu on top for fun, like a little tool thing. We were at a, we were at a Halloween thing. Oh, right? okay. I'm like, so no, she's, that's yeah. not typical. And, and <laughs> she'd look at you with those eyes like, I'm going to eat your heart. Take it out piece by piece through your ribs. Like she was just staring at you and uh, the whole time. The whole time with a smile, and I'm thinking, this is, I die today. This is how I die. You don't know these women? They frighten the fuck out of me. I'm soft and floppy and lazy and loose, and I don't, I don't know what any of these things are. I want to hug people. I want to be friendly. My soul is bright yellow. It's filled with candy. Like, everything is perfect in that way, right? Come on in. We're all sloppy and happy, and there's cushions on the couch, right? This is a hard bench bitch. She's ready to go. Right. She's probably carrying dumbbells in her bag just in case she needs to do some lifting. You they know have a lot of I kids mean. in that house. Yeah, I don't I do. know. They have I a didn't lot of get kids. that far. I think there's two and they're probably they're probably straightened up. Their their bike is put away properly. I'll tell you that much. They fly like right. Mine. There's no pilot Not like clothes. mine. Yeah. <laughs> My bike is probably at their fucking house. Probably. My kids haven't ridden a bike in 100,000 years. Flat tires. You know how it is. Bike is a good gift. Don't you think it's crazy that we're making children make their own gifts now? Like the example they what? gave on this 3D printer was SpongeBob. So you program in SpongeBob and then you sit and watch it build the SpongeBob and you get a little figure which is adorable but you know you have to buy all that non-explosive plastic shit to put in there so it can make it for you Uh, you know it's it's probably made out of like potato who cares I think it's great if it's if it occupies them potato and they get to use their brain yeah they, they like spin it up out of you know they use like polyfiber, turnip web, and all kind of other. Who knows potato. that shit that they make it out of? Right? Yeah, it's potato. It's mostly starch. So the SpongeBob that you create in this machine, you can actually eat as well. Is that what you're saying? I'm up on They're all dog the toys. <laughs> and if oh, you I'm want, not with the science. That's right. I want, forgot. <laughs> if you want, if you want to, if you want the accurate technological response, I could give it to you, but it might be over your head. So it's potato. They fill it up with. Uh, you know, it's some kind of flour starch and a little bit of tapioca. It's delicious. I tapioca. mean, tapioca. You know, they can make houses like cinder block houses. They can make it out of like yarn and shit. Those three D printers are great. And Do you they mean have like, like an extrusion spooch machine where it goes like, <laughs> and it makes the shape of the house. You've seen that. You've seen those, right? I don't think they call it that. It's the verbiage that made my jaw drop. I know what <laughs> I machine you're talking yeah, about. The man. one that's fabricated as you watch you it. You're going to 3D print one of them tiny ass houses. I Let's love that. Let's go. Let's go. Can you say Bring it? You, you, I'll just take it as a drop. Never mind. You'll hear it again. Stop. I promise. Don't, don't do that. That brings me to my next topic. Am I too poop centric? Wow. And, and maybe is the answer, but I think that's the wrong question. The question is, why am I poop centric? Okay, okay, And gotcha. I think my answer is everyone poops, correct? So why do I find I'm it? I'm told. Why do I find it so interesting? I don't know. I super don't know. It's a waste product. You want to get it away from you. It, you should disregard it. It's not something of interest to you. Can you think of anything more of a unique experience that, e- like a relatable experience that everyone has close, uh, more than pooping? Like everyone does it. Not everybody sings, not everybody exercises, not everybody. Some people work overnight. Some people, like, sleep I, isn't the I, same for everyone. Pooping uh, kind of is. Every human does it. I guess sleep is another obsession. But, that but, here's, but here's where. We, I'm a scatologist. I don't get it. Like, why would you want to relate to somebody over that? Don't you want to relate to them over love? All right. Over Very interesting question. Touch? But a over lot of people, there are people that aren't capable of love in some ways. There are people that are repelled by human touch. Everybody right, 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 shits. Right. You're making my point. You're making my point. You're making my point. You're making my point. And my point is this. Please. Why you want to connect with somebody that can't sense human love just because they know how to take a shit? I want to connect with somebody because it's a connection. That's the whole point. For me, everybody is so disconnected right now. So when I say out loud, which makes Let's me nervous. Let's make a string of these turd sausages. When I, uh, uh, I'm not saying I enjoy looking <laughs> at poop. I'm saying shitting your pants is a common 
uh, a uniquely unifying situation. So when I, I, I say out uh, loud, I want mm-hmm. to re- do a podcast about shitting your pants and other right. embarrassing stories. I mean to unify people in a very divided time. So I am doing the Lord's work by I, bringing up this it? topic and unifying people around. You did that. I did that too. Let's okay. talk about it. Did right. you get sweaty beforehand? The feeling when you hear, you know, you have 2.6 minutes before it's over. How do you best okay. use that time? I want these stories, dear listener, brilliant observations at gmail.com. If you write, I will write you back and bring you on a podcast. It's a little in the distant future. Don't worry. It's going to hopefully be after the new year. Amy is nodding her head like, Important to know about this so I know what podcast to not subscribe. I support you. (laughs) I'm going to stick with you. I'm going to stay your friend. Oh, I appreciate that. And I will never, ever listen to that show. But you could be on it. Why? Why do I want to? Why do I want to? If it was how I wet my pants today, would you be on that podcast? Uh, Only if forced. Like, what in the world are we doing? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Men, I, women, it's universal, and it's it's uh, it's important that we relate on some level. And pooping could be that level. It could also, I could also be so wrong. And Amy seems to think that is the case, that I, I am so wrong. It's not something that I enjoy. Uh, it, and that's full stop. I don't, I don't enjoy defecating on myself. Or, or ruminating <laughs> on how that, that could have happened. Right. So the yeah. idea that I would want to connect with someone over a thing that I don't enjoy, wish hadn't happened, work to prevent, don't wish to repeat. That's like I would let's connect around food. Let's connect around music. Let's connect. There's lots of things that I like that bring human connection. You know the difference between a comedy and a tragedy, right? I don't think I do. I wish I did. I it- wish I did. So uh, you would agree that a tragedy would be shitting your pants, right? Shitting your pants plus time talking to other people about it and laughing becomes comedy. Mm -hmm. And I like everything to lean into the comical side. So when you're in it, not funny. Looking back with your 2020 hindsight, fucking hilarious. To your own hind? Yes. Your own hiney sight. Is that a new word? Yes, ma'am. Heine sight? Yes, ma'am. Speaking of new words, last week we talked about a huge marketing faux pas when Wicked, the movie, was blitzed, the toys, the all of the marketing connections all over every platform everywhere. And Target got a big shipment of the Barbie dolls. And on the back, it didn't say the wickedmovie.com. Come to this QR code. It said wicked.com which is a porn site so all these little girls are getting these little barbies and it says www. who wicked. talked about that we did on this podcast we sure did not really are you kidding so i brought it to you because i thought you'd be like yeah that that checks somebody did not proof that did not proof that did not proof that i don't i don't remember that at all are and you sure we did i th- i thought we did it was on our board i thought we got to it Okay. Dear listener, we are melting. I apologize. I brought it again today to say that was the biggest faux pas I've seen in a long time. Like somebody did not go through all of the copy. Like somebody failed. Somebody lost a job for that, right? Oh, my God. This week I saw a competitor to probably Lumi, like an all-body deodorant. So mad at them. Still? Yes. Wait. Let me tell you the let me tell you the counter to the worst ad, which was wicked.com, how they fucked up. This this deodorant full body deodorant, their tagline, you know the phrase, hands down. Hands down, it was the best, whatever. Yes. Their their tagline is pants down. Pants down, it is the best deodorant you will ever find. Oh and I my thought God. that is brilliant. And I love it. Wicked, big failure. Pants down, two thumbs up. Good job, everybody. That Why are is. you still mad at Lumi? What did they do to you? No, I'm mad at the competitors. I'm irritated with Lumi for who they are. Just period. Full stop as a category. But it does irritate me that they have transformed the entire deodorant category Market. to such a degree that now people, the big conglomerates who kept them out of stores for they so did. long. Private sales only. Yeah. So that they could 
make a competitive product and catch up and now drive up the cost of not only, you know, everywhere all the time deodorant, but regular ass fucking deodorant. You can't get an underarm deodorant for less than eight dollars. You can't do it. And if you want one that's designed to go on your lady bits and and you know, sprinkle areas, that one is going to cost you $18. And I don't understand. When you go into a part of town that maybe you're not in all the time, they fucking lock it up behind glass. When we're locking up the toothpaste and the deodorant, here's a tip to you. It's not a statement about your community. It's a statement about Procter & fucking Gamble who are trying to rip us off. When you're putting the cost of toothpaste now rivals a bottle of scotch, fuck you. I get It'd be shitty scotch, but you understand. And probably great toothpaste. I'm just saying it's too much. Right. It used to be electronics that were locked up or caged with those little security well, it started devices. started with razor blades because those got to be ridiculous when they were $21 for a little packet of replacement razor blades. And that was insane. And so then we went to mail order and started using shitty razor blades and deciding, oh, they're just as good. Okay. Are they? Okay. I think, I mean, I don't use them. I got Sudafed a lot of people to shave around here. And Actifed were then put behind the counter. I thought it's over the counter. It is. Here's the new counter. Like you can't make meth anymore the way we used to. That's my biggest complaint today. Good old meth. Yeah. Can't do it the way you used to. Such a shame. What a pivot we are about to make. I don't have time to, you know, wash the sheets and do because they have to be fucking ironed and all the stupid shit that I, you know, because it's ridiculous. Amy. It's, what? I'm going to stop you right there. Oh, I always step in it right at the end. And I was trying to tell you something else. Go. You iron your sheets? They have to. I don't want to. They have to. So. Amy. Shut up. They have to. It's there's a, it's the, the not the sheets themselves. But you're already fucking ironing, so you just do them too. Now listen. No, 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 you don't, actually. Stop. You don't. Stop. Can what? Can you list for me 10 things in your house that you iron? regularly be while well, you through regular are we gonna, use are all shirts one category are all pants one category or is it like different types of shirts how much so, time do you spend ironing shirts pants on occasion a tie or scarf linens uh and mean bed linens and then table linens napkins um I all mean, right i'm gonna stop stuff. you at table linens i don't own those so moving on from there you have a tablecloth you have cloth napkins you have them you can say it as often as you want. Okay. It is Stop. still not going to make it true. Stop. Uh, my house is not clean and it is not ironed. And also maybe sometimes I do like pillows and things. But uh, My house just- is cleaned, but it is never ironed. I-, I don't even know where the iron is kept. Okay. okay. I don't I- I'm you, you confident we have before. one. You've n- ironed n- stuff before. N- just again, because you say it, this is my argument with my family. Just because you say it doesn't make it true. It just makes it something you've said. That's all that makes it. Just makes it flying out of your mouth. I don't iron. I'm not familiar with ironing. For college, my kids got steamers. Yeah, they So that work. they, my my boy uses a steamer. And it's my better go- than nothing. It's better than nothing. But it's you can't take a wrinkled garment and use a steamer without pulling every one of your hairs out of your head individually like i mean you you should just iron it a steamer is is ideal for refreshing so if you start with something that is completely refreshing close yes to removing light wrinkles for refreshing something that had been ironed or was smooth but ironing could remove has achieved a crease or something from being folded or stored or transported right not something that you took wet rumpled up like a piece of paper you're going to throw at your brother left in the corner to mildew and then (laughs) wafted it out on a hanger and said, huh, I think the steam is going to get the job done Don't I go to this party. Don't tell my children, but because I would kill them if they did this, take better care of your things. But I have taken a couple of articles of clothing that were too wrinkled and rewashed them just You're to supposed to do this. Of course you do this. No, well, you just you're have not. To just, you don't have to rewash them, but there's actually a setting, steam refresh, or you can just wet it. So I take a, a wet washcloth yeah. and I'll I'll wet Throw a washcloth and put right. it in the dryer with a button down shirt just to get Easy. a done. Yeah. That's what you're supposed to do. Okay, That's but I don't steam do. or iron. I I put it in the machine and the machine spits it out warm and unwrinkled. That if that solves it, then that solves it. I have you I iron sheets, I, Amy. I didn't ask for this. 
I didn't ask for this. You I volunteered for that you ironed sheets. I didn't ask for these sheets. sheets, and I didn't ask for this for this critique. What of kind you. of sheets do you they're need linen. to iron? So it, it, they're the duvet cover is linen, and so when it comes out, linen is notorious Wrinkly. for wrinkling, right? So to wash the damn thing, when you take it out, it goes from being this sort of soft and luscious, yummy thing to being a wrinkled <laughs> up. What the fuck is this <laughs> shrivelly mass? It looks like. You know, giant scrotum. It's disgusting. So you Can you put a wet washcloth in there with the duvet cover? It doesn't really get the job done. So you, the problem is it's a king size duvet and you can't, mm. it's a very cumbersome process to have to iron it. So I don't do it all that often. And it's turned into a thing where I only replaced the duvet cover because I wasn't washing the other one, which I'm just, let this pass, please. You want still. me to cut all of this out? No, I meant this next part I'm going to say you're not okay. going to be able to handle it. It was silk. And so oh I didn't, it, it was, so I was like, let that pass, please. So it's very difficult because you had to be delicate with it. And then if it got soiled, it was a whole process. And it, so it, I thought we're going to switch to something that's easy to clean, that we can deal with, that we can throw it in the laundry, right? Well, it's not like throw it in the laundry linen. It's proper fucking linen linen. So when you, which I didn't know. This is why we was, don't own nice things. I thought it's not nice. It's not as nice as... It is. If the maintenance okay. requirement on it is 10 steps higher than I even have the capability to do because I don't know if we own an iron anymore. Yeah, having, that's... Having things that have high maintenance capability and not keeping up with them is worse than not having the thing at all. And so okay. that's the reason I that I'm a that. little bit embarrassed in having any of these conversations because I also don't want to sit here talking about my house in ways and, and the things that are in it in ways that don't that sound so much more highfalutin than they really are. They're just falutin. Girl, They're not highfalutin. Girl, your falutency <laughs> has been falutin on this podcast <laughs> for years. People, people here understand that you don't know the single name of a single actor or actress. What's that woman's name? Mariska Hardike. Yeah, exactly. Point That's made. That's her name. It is absolutely not her name. <laughs> I'm telling you her name is Hardike, and when you look it up, <laughs> you're going to say, I don't know why I was being so ridiculous. It's Hargate. No, it's not. Okay. I've twisted you around into saying it wrong. No, you are definitely twisted around, but it's got okay. nothing to do with me. So uh, my point to you is this. I want to tell you more important <laughs> things yes. than what you're going to say. Nobody right? thinks that you are pretend. pretend projecting pretending any of the pro ejectors like an extrusion spooch machine um nobody thinks that at all about you yeah. they understand you quite well look here's what's here's what you need to know about me here's what you need to know about me okay i i am burning it i am doing too many things all the time i went from i had this pressure self-imposed that i was not doing enough that i was not using my time wisely right and that led me to the pendulum swinging all the way back to taking on way too many responsibilities in every direction in my life and now being unable to complete them in the ways that I like, right? So I'm, I'm now at the point where I'm up very late at night and up very early in the morning, back to the way I used to run my life. There's some sort of comfort there, but I'm also a lot older than I was, and it takes its toll in this way. I fall asleep. Watching Tickum Tockums on my phone because I have glasses on my face and I don't like watching TV when I'm really ready for bed. I take my glasses off and I can only see things that are as far away as my hand, which is my phone. So I watch TikTok on my phone and then I fall asleep with my phone in my hand with TikTok on with my in thumb my face. on TikTok. So right. I end up <laughs> sending people shut sleep your mouth TikToks. That's sleep talk. I fall asleep. With my th and when you hover your when you're holding it because you're scrolling, my thumb is on it, and then whatever comes up in my feed, the pressure of my sleeping thumb has more okay. than once. Who did you to send more what? than one person? Tell me who did you send what? Whatever is in the feed because the first button that you see is repo or send yep. to repost, and then it immediately sends it like a like a message in TikTok to that person. Okay, so I sent a uh, parenting video. Right. It, to a friend of mine who didn't need parenting advice. Right. Who's not even really like a close friend of mine, just has an alphabetized a name. Yeah. So I'm like shit. What the fuck is that? Here's worse. OK, here's the worst of all. 
and regularly I'll send like cooking video, like whatever's in the feed. I'll end up totally random, like a macrame thing I sent to my son. And he's like, why are you sending me macrame? Like, I don't want this. And that's not the kind of relationship we have, mom. And you don't do macrame. <laughs> and what is macrame? <laughs> right. And stop all these things. OK, so I understand if my family has that because I get high every night before I go to sleep. And it's the same. It's the same. If it's just you sleep. get those sleep. things okay, from okay, me, okay, please okay, know okay, I'm okay, high. Okay. So here's what happened. I was, and I only learned about this because my son has love for me. The youngest one today. So last week I was, he was gone last, this was last weekend. So he was gone. Another lacrosse trip. I get a text from him saying, this is not me. This is Jake stole my phone and is doing things in my name. I did not do this. Like, immediately. I did not Ooh, do this. At the top, a disclaimer uh, makes me super nervous. I did nervous. not do this. He took my phone. He's doing things in my name. And then I, you know, texted back, thank you for telling me. Before I, the infraction had occurred, as far as I was aware, I was like, thank you for telling me, right? Um, you know how I feel about impersonating other people online. Like, that is that is really, really, really not okay, not acceptable, Right. So, and they tipped me off to what was happening. So I went to my private messaging in TikTok. It had been flooded with pro-Donald Trump, the most egregious pro-Donald Trump propaganda. And, and it looked like it was from your son? And Yes. And yeah. the worst anti-Kamala Harris propaganda, like super, I'm going to I'll use the word obnoxious, denigrating the kind of stuff that you can't even imagine exists because I'm super, like, I'm not, that's not me. I don't even come across that stuff. The stuff that they would say, we can't even air it on the news. Like, that kind of shit. You now get a warning my, on TikTok in before. My direct, in my direct messaging, right? And I say, I strike up, and I know this kid, so I strike up a text with him, and I'm like, uh, I say, no, no, no. So I say to my son, why on earth? Well, I'm immediately thinking, have no reaction, have no reaction. This was done to get a reaction. Have no reaction, have no reaction, have no reaction. My son texts me back and said, um, like, I, something along the lines of, he said you started it, right? And I, I, I was sort of like, okay. I super oh, my know God, not, you did I it in your know sleep? That's not right. <gasps> so I went back and looked, and oh, lo and behold, you started I it. had sent him. Nothing gross, but I had sent him some very, very, very pro Kamala Harris. Like it was a guy talking about, can you imagine? How, like it was, I hadn't liked this video. I hadn't reposted this video. It was somebody came up in the feed saying, um, if you don't like it, you're an idiot. You're a, what? like it was definitely a very, the kind of stuff that I don't normally say. And I sent it directly to him. So he flamed me back with all this content. And I texted him to say, you know, I, I apologize. I did this while I was asleep. I didn't know it. I'm in the wrong. Uh, I'm, st I'm ending it now. Like, don't start none, won't be none. Let's, let's call a truce. And he wrote back with like a little emoji for truce and whatever. But oh my God. And I don't even know how many other people, like did I send like creepy, I don't even know what comes across my feed. It's a lot of weird stuff. It's people in the woods talking to sticks. It's everything, right? I get all of your reposts that are so delightful and joy on good? feet. Okay. They're joy on feet. I love that because, again, the ADHD dopamine that I get from all of the Karens who are reporting things. And, like, I, I definitely get from that, and that feeds me. Dear listener, what feeds you? What is in your TikTok feed? And also, here's my ask this week. Is there some topic on which you would like us to opine let us know if there's something you want us to talk about. We go about our day-to-day. -day. We come up with content for you. I find women getting arrested because their 10-year-old walks to get butter. It's, it's out there, and we find it, and I hate weddings, but I like people that are far away. What is on your TikTok feed? What do you want us to opine about? Have opinions. Stay with me, please. We love you. We are grateful for you. Thank you for turning us on this week. I hope... Uh, oh, also, poop. Tell us about your poop. Everybody wants to hear about it. It was our favorite number one thing. We're super excited. It's my number two thing. You're the worst. <laughs> You're the, the worst. worst. 
I'm the worst. We love I, you. Before, no, I, <laughs> I know we're over, but I feel like you're going to cut some stuff out. And here's the other piece that I'm going to tell you. Tell us. Talking about TikTok. I'm so excited for New Zealand. Am I the only person that's excited for New Zealand? I think not. I think everyone's excited for New Zealand. Are you going to give us a haka right now? Do you know about the Maori? <laughs> Do you know? Do you know? Do you see? Do you see that I am not afraid? Oh, my God. I love it. Makes the you want to move to New Zealand. The best part about the whole fucking thing of, waking of up. that woman in the the native woman in uh, New Zealand who's been elected to parliament and don't start and I won't be none. Right. They put up a treaty. They have a treaty in place. And all the whitey said, you know what? We want to actually fuck you over harder. And people were like, no, you can't do it. No, you can't do it. No, you stop it. That's not OK. This is in this is inappropriate. We disagree. Disavow. I will vote against. And then up this 20 something year old woman gets up and she goes, hakata, hakata, fuck again. Ooh, and starts dancing around the thing, took the paper, ripped it from tits to tails. It was the best paper rip you ever saw in it your was fucking amazing. life. The paper rip made the news. And my favorite fucking part is the vote passed. But because of that video and the public outcry, the second vote failed. So fuck you and your paper. Yelling works. Get out there and yell, kids. It Get makes Get out there and yell. That's the energy you need with you this week. We love you. Take care. Bye. Bye. Oh, okay. Do you know the balloon dog, the famous art balloon dog? Of course. Giant yeah. sculpture. They got one of the balloon dog taking a balloon poop. I, I have that sent to us by my friend Janine and your friend Janine. She's not my friend now. No, he's the balloon dog. It's in glass. It's a glass balloon dog in that position with a tiny little glass turd at the bottom of it. So when you what? walk in our house, it's on the landing on the stairs. And I love it so much. I didn't even put it in the bathroom. I center placed it as soon as you walk into our home. I feel like that's a red flag. I feel like that's a red flag for you and for me, right? Because what are we what are we doing here? What are we doing? What are we doing? An extrusion spooge machine?